For those like me trying skateboarding for the first time, <laughs> this can represent pain. But forget the pain and you realize that this is a meeting point. A meeting point of our human desire to try new things, have fun and share it with others. This is a great metaphor for innovation. Back to you, all right? Wow, look at him go! We don't know who invented the first skateboard, but skateboarding as we know it today evolved from surfers in Southern California in the 1950s. They built simple skateboards, basically just two by four planks with wheels, and skated when waves were flat to get the sensation of surfing. As surfing grew in popularity, so did skateboarding. Manufacturers picked up on this. In the early 60s, they started mass producing boards and holding competitions. But there was a problem. The clay wheels wore down quickly and were so stiff, every time you hit a pebble, you went flying into the air. People got hurt. Parents got up in arms. Skateboarding started being banned and almost died. Enter Frank Nasworthy, a teenage surfer and skater from Washington, DC. One day, Frank was at a friend's house. The friend's dad made urethane wheels for all skates. Frank thought, hey, this might work on my skateboard. And Frank gave them a try. The ride was unbelievably smooth, had better grip and control. Frank liked it so much that he grabbed his friends, ran to Toys R Us and bought all the skateboards they could find. They spent the rest of the summer skating around DC and rocking their new wheels. Love of surfing later brought Frank to California. There, he saw that skateboarding was still going strong among surfers, but they all still rode on clay wheels. Frank realized others would want his urethane wheels. Cadillac Wheels was founded. Frank's seemingly small contribution was a catalyst that took skateboarding to new heights. And skateboarding never looked back. Today, it's a multi-billion dollar industry with 11 million active skateboarders worldwide. Not bad. <laughs>